In the house of God, we welcome your presence, Lord, your sweet aroma. Oh, as we worship you, as the praise goes up, the blessing shall come down. Oh, Hanaba Shitabo Shitabo Kandabo Shantanabaka. Oh, we come in agreement. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal, but a mighty in God. We're going to pull down and uproot all things that are exalted against God. Everything that exalted against God must come down today. And we're going around Jericho today. We're going around Jericho today. God says you need to go around your situation and call it how you need it to be. Go around your situation. Walk, start walking and tell yourself how it's going to be. He says, walk around your situation and it will change. I don't know what's going on in your life, but we're getting ready to get in to prayer. And we're going to see some changes. Ah, speak in your heavenly language. That's the prayer that the devil can't get a hold of. It's speaking in tongues. It's in the spirit. It's in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. So if you're coming today and you have faith, this is the place to be. Uh-huh. We're going into Hebrews 11. 1. We're not going to look at it, but I know it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it is the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 
11, starting at verse 1. Hebrews 11 is the faith chapter. Uh-huh. Community, saints, the church without judgment, I'm asking you and I'm challenging you to look at the faith chapter today. If you don't have a Bible, God told me to tell you, go to Google and find it. Hebrews chapter 11 and read that every day until your circumstances change. I'm getting ready to pray. I want to look at a scripture, but you, I'm asking. He spoke to me and says, look at Hebrews 11 and read it every day. It's about patriarchs just like you. You may not be a patriarch yet because you're not old enough, but you don't have to be old to be a patriarch. A patriarch is someone that's connected with God. And then he says, standing on holy ground, take your shoes off. We must take our shoes off today and cleanse our heart. We're getting ready to have prayer. Read Hebrews 11 because we're going to win. They won in there. Some of them died. Most of them, they're gone now. But it says later they're waiting for us so that they can get the reward. Their reward is when they're coming out of the tombs. Mm -hmm. They're waiting on us, but we're waiting on them. And Jesus will get the victory. We're having a prayer service because there's a war and they're warring against us, the devil, and it's against God's people, but the remnant we will win because we're entering a new place. We're going into a new tree. It's not a tree of disgrace, but it's a tree of victory. I want to look at this. James chapter five, we're going to start in verse 13. And we're going to go to about 16. And I want you to get your faith cap on right now. Put on the faith cap. Mm -hmm. Here we go. James 5 verse 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing songs. Verse 14. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. The ecclesia, that's another name in the Greek. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Verse 16, confess your trespass to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. That you may be healed because the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous Man, woman availeth much. The effective, fervent, or, or, or relentless prayers will availeth much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we enter in not to a perfect rest right now, but we are coming to the Lord. Father, right now we bless you and we ask that you sanctify us. Father God, we ask that you sanctify us in your blood. Father, sanctify us in your pure blood that was poured out for us. It was poured out for us on Calvary's cross for the remission of sins, for the cleansing of sins of humanity, but we have not accepted that cleansing and that redemption. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we are coming and asking to cleanse us and we are receiving your redemption. 
the redemption power of the one and only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we're asking that you would receive us right now and cleanse us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're in error, but we're asking that we could be put up right again, that you would come and cleanse us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Lord God, we're asking that you would change us right now and that we could see your spirit. Father, we only need your spirit right now. We need to be adopted back in. Father God, we're asking that you would touch us and that you would endow us with the Holy Ghost. Father, we're asking for a new transfer that you would come and enter into our minds. Father, we're praying for our hearts, that our hearts would be changed that our hearts would be changed and that you would put in a new heart. Oh God, we're asking that you would remove this ugly heart and that you would put in a new heart. A new heart of liberty and love. Father, we're asking for a new heart that would love you first and our neighbor second. Father God, we're asking Lord to take away our fear and transfer it for faith. Father, we need faith that would rise right now and that would pursue all evil and that we would call things out. Father, and they would run seven ways away from us. Father, we're praying right now for unbelief that we could rise up and get rid of fear. There's no fear in perfect love. Perfect love casts out all fear in the name of Jesus. Yahweh God, we're asking for perfect love. We're asking, Lord, that you would grant us perfect love in you. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for the family, every family in the world, that we know that God originally owns the family, and he started it in the book of Genesis, and he told the family to subdue it and take it by force. We're praying for the family. We're coming against evil. We're coming against those that want to tear down the family. In the name of Jesus, well, I'm dipping us back into the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Christ. The family shall not be ruined. Help us, Lord, and get us transfigured back into the tree, the olive tree of the Lord. Father, I'm praying for the Father in the house. I'm praying for the man of the house that he would get a sign and that it is on the wall. Weep, uh, weep and be on the wall for your family. I'm praying for the family right now in the name of Jesus. Man of God, rise up and take your place in the name of Jesus. He says that he has prepared for you a place, a banquet in the presence of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, he says, pick up your sword. It is the Bible. He says the Bible is more than a gun. Nothing can stop the word. It will cut through it all. God, pick up the Bible. He says, now men, and take it and read it. And if you read the word, it will work for you. In the name of Jesus, after you read the word, start getting on your knees and praying for your wife. Pray for your fiance. Pray for your children and pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we're praying for the woman, the woman, the Eve, in the garden. She is getting ready to be cleansed off. Yeah, she is getting ready to be fixed. God is getting ready to do a new work in the woman. If you want to be like Mary Magdala or Mary, Mother Mary, the only thing you got to do is cry out to him. He says he wants to help you if you are a widow, if you are an orphan with the widow. 
He's going to restore you into a new reality. I'm praying for the woman. I'm praying and telling you to get up now and try it again because he says I'm getting ready to release you into a glory that you have not seen before. The woman shall make it out. The woman shall have a release. The woman in name is Eve. Come out, Esther. Come out wherever you are. Jesus told me to tell you uh, that you're a star without him. The woman shall win. We come from a woman. And in the name of Jesus, we repent, men, for hurting the woman. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for the church right now. The ecclesia of the Lord. Jesus says that my church will win and the gates of hell will never prevail against it because he's the rock. Father, right now we're asking that you would be our rock. Father, right now we're praying for the church. You've died for the church. You've died and you consecrated the church. Father, fix us now. Father, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that the church will regain its power, but he says it's coming out of the caves. The new church will win. The new church is coming. The new church is here, and you're going to hear a sound, a sound that you've never heard before, and it's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is getting ready to hit the land starting right now, and he's going to change things that are ruined. The Holy Ghost is getting ready to get excited on you. Be careful because when you receive him, you're going to do things bigger than Jesus. And I'm going to tell us how because he's on the right hand side of the Father. I am praying. I am praying for the church. I am praying for those that want to find the Lord. He is able. He is there for you waiting. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is there in his tabernacle. He is in his circle. He is in his space. There is nothing that he cannot do. There is no space that he has saw that he has not been in. He has created us in his image. He says subdue it. Subdue it Mary. Subdue it Joseph. And Joseph is in you. Man of God I'm hearing Joseph's voice. He's telling me you better take off the robe because because he has work for you. It's a multi-colored tunic, but it's for the world. If you have a small vision, it's not from God, but it's from man. But God is speaking in his circle. And if your vision is big, he says you're ready to roll. Right now, the church is going to make it. The church is going to be the last standing in the tribulation. It's here. It's here. And it is here. We're getting ready to pray for Ukraine. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to pray for Europe. I have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. I have your way, Holy Ghost. Father God, you are not a man that you should lie or a son of man that you should have to repent. Father God, right now we lift up Ukraine. We lift up the people of the region. And Father, right now we ask that your will will be done. Father, right now we ask, Lord, that you 
protect the people. Lord, we ask that you bless the people. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you would, as I see you sending out many angels, there's many angels over the region and, and the angels are spreading out their wings, their spiritual wings, and they're protecting the onslaught. Father, I'm asking that you would release more angels in the camps. Father, I'm asking, Lord, that you would dispatch all of the angels that are represented in your kingdom. And I'm asking, Lord, that you would release them. Father God, we're praying for the military. We're praying, Lord, that as they have so much at stake trying to protect their motherland. Father, I'm praying that you give them hope. Father, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would deliver them arms and whatever they need, Lord, because they have, they have strength. They've already won, Lord, because they started. They've won the battle because when you go in the face of the lion or Goliath, you are there. That means you're going to, it don't matter if you win or lose, but you are there. Father, I'm praying for them because they're there. They have not ran, but they're there fighting the battle. The battle is the Lord's. Father, right now I'm praying for everyone that's represented there. I'm asking, Lord, that you would hide them and hide them. Father, I'm asking those that are, that are being trampled down, I'm asking, Lord, that you would give them peace right now. Father, I'm praying for the civilians. I'm praying, Lord, and I'm asking, Lord, that they could find a way out, but most are there. I'm asking that you would cover them in peace. Father, I'm asking, Lord, I don't know how this is going to go, Lord, but we're asking, Lord, that there could be, there could be some communication. I'm asking, Lord, that this war is bigger than what we think, and I'm asking that the other NATO nations that we could come together and start a plan. There's no plan other than to fight. Father, I'm asking, Lord, right now that we would fight. Father, I'm asking, Lord, that you would send leadership and give them wisdom so that they can continue to battle. Father, give them wisdom to battle and fight. Father, help them to see you as they fight and protect their motherland. But I'm asking, Lord, as, as David fought Goliath, he fought him and he won. He won because you was with him. Lord, I'm praying, Lord, that you would send a spirit on that place right now. A spirit, a spirit of excellence that would cut through the knife of, of the bear. Father, I'm coming against the bear. Father, we're coming against the bear, the bear of Russia. In the name of Jesus, that dark bear, I'm asking, Lord, that we, that we could subdue it by your will, by your might, by your power. That bear, Father, we're coming against it, and we need, we need, we need to fight. We must fight the bear. Father, I'm asking right now that, that we will continue to fight and, I'm, and we will fight in prayer. Those that are not over there in Ukraine, we must fight in prayer. Father, the darts of the prayer will activate and it would move them back. I'm asking, Lord, that we would fight in prayer right now. Um, Father, I'm asking that we could find like-minded individuals. Even when we see in Ukraine, the civilians are passing out arms. Father, right now, if we're not in Ukraine, can we have arms of prayer? Oh, pray right now, you guys, because it's getting ready to come here. Father, we're praying right now for Ukraine. We're praying for the country. We're asking that you would help. Father, we know you're there. We're asking you would save the children. We're asking that the casualties could be at a minimum, but in war, there's death. And where death is, the vultures are too. Father, I'm praying for the president of Ukraine. I'm praying for Putin too, Father. I'm asking, Lord, that he could find the Lord. 
that he could find you and not Satan. I'm praying for the president of Ukraine and I'm asking Lord right now in the name of Jesus, I can see you covering him and he's Jewish, but it's more than that. He has a heart of tenacity. Father, right now, I pray for him, the president. I pray for everybody to be around him like Moses and Aaron, and I'm praying that they'll lift him up. They will lift his arms up, that they won't run from him. They won't do suicidal missions on him. I'm praying for the president of Ukraine. In the name of Jesus, we dip you in the blood of the lamb right now. Father, as we close, nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ Jesus. Nothing can separate us from his love. Not peril, not death, not evil, not demons. No perilous times, no tribulation. Help us, Father, to see your love in everything. Help us decide right now to make a choice to receive your goodness and to run away from any darkness because it will hurt you. Father, help us realize that we must come in to your light, to your love, so that we can be manifested back into the Garden of Eden, the new heaven and new earth. We have not much time left on this earth. And God, we want to be connected to you. It says wars and rumors of war. And then when the gospel, when the gospel is preached all over the world, then the end will come. The gospel is out. The gospel is known. We have rejected God's gospel and he's rejecting us. Does not matter how many earthquakes how much death we are choosing evil. We still don't want the Lord and he's upset and he wants us to love him and the door is being shut. And I'm asking us today, please, please, please repent. Please get ready. Please get ready to go into the ark. Please, it's getting ready to close. Please get yourself together. Please, please, because it's almost time. This prophet can't talk no more. I can't keep talking. He told me to tell you it's about time. You have some time left, but in a minute, the doors are closing and it's coming down. It's coming down. Lord, we bless you right now. And Lord, we're being challenged to come into your ark once again before the destroyer arrives. There will be some that will be grafted in a tree of righteousness and others will be grafted in a tree of condemnation and death. Will you receive him today while you have time? The destroyer is coming. Christ Jesus, the destroyer for some, and for some there will be salvation and honor and glory. It will be. It's here now. I love you. Remember, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord, in the book of Zechariah, from the church without judgment. We love you. In the country of Ukraine, you will enter into his pure rest of Jesus Christ.